Here's the story of a lovely lady. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anonymous, and I would like to keep it that way. I just want to give a special thanks to Andrew Show for giving me the opportunity to express this information on his platform. The reason why my voice is deep is because I want to remain anonymous. I've been feeding information to a lot of YouTubers out there. YouTubers including Kid Organic. YouTubers including The Andrew 26101 Show. YouTubers including The Radical Latino. YouTubers including Milano the Travel Boy, O'Shea, and the list goes on and on. I doxed Antonio Batista. From doxing Antonio Batista, we found out a lot of information regarding to this soul racial war. Fucking cocking for these fucking monkey people! These fucking savages! You gotta let them go into your fucking neighborhood and pillage your fucking neighborhood! You gotta let them rape and and pillage your neighborhood! You gotta hand over your women to the fucking people! That Antonio and Kim123 and many others who follow in his lead of justice to completely tarnish and destroy the black and African American community. I had to do this for the sole protection of the people. I cannot allow this specimen, and I'll let Andrew continue with his show. Well, well. Look at what we have here, man. And I explained this to someone the other day about this. How a lot of you guys on YouTube when it comes to criticisms, you guys can't handle it, can't you? But can't. Why well, do you say it was wrong? I'm like, no. It's not what I was wrong. You just can't handle criticism. Don't be discouraged, my people. He says you can't handle criticism. What he means is you can't handle racism. Antonio made a rant. Okay, a rant that is getting over, it's hitting almost 40,000 K. His subscriber account has tripled within a day. This guy before that video was making around 290. Now we're reaching over a thousand right now, almost a thousand, almost right now this week. And the people, his detractors, that spent uh, a year debunking him, it's too late. You can't debunk the guy anymore. It's it's gone. Forget about it. you know going against it. Go against it. You can't. You can't. It's it's over. The arms race is over. This guy actually won. No 
Ken, you are sadly mistaken. We can win. We will win. And we have won. And I explained this to everybody. I explained this yesterday. I explained this the other day. Now, for people that don't know, I still communicate with him and all that stuff. So I kind of understand where his mindset is. Kind of understand where his mindset is. Let me invite you to understand where my mindset is. Just have the balls. Let's say what he says. Because the stuff he says off of YouTube is the stuff he says on YouTube. Unlike some, you, unlike some YouTubers that we know. Who sit around and make videos. And yet, off of YouTube does not preach what they say on YouTube. There's a lot of those YouTubers out there. A lot. At least we'll give credit where credit's due. At least he's honest on what he said. Which is, by the way, very rare on YouTube when it comes to YouTube because you have like a, a two-faced mentality I'm not sitting here and trying to be mean I'm not I'm not sitting here and trying to say that you know Antonio is a racist or not, that's all a matter of perspective. I always say this to everybody. I think everyone's adult enough to understand that concept because I know everyone's emotionally charged what's going on around the country. I get it. Okay? I get it. Now, let's get down to it here. All right. I explain this to everyone. Okay? I explain on my platform, I explain to everyone else. I told y'all this a long time ago to leave this, this group alone. Le leave these group of people alone. You see what Ken means by leave these group of people alone. What he's trying to say is, these are the racist advocacies of these inner cliques on YouTube whose solely destruction is to cause hate and division within the black and brown community to cause destruction and chaos and to solely serve their purpose to white supremacy. Now, you have done it. You have broke the camel's back. And I will expose and show the world on who Kem123 really is. I've spread my information out to everyone, but didn't spread this information. And it's only exclusive on this channel. Once I'm done saying my piece, I will hand the studio back to Andrew 26101 by the way you say Antonio has the balls to say what he wants to say well I have the balls to put out what needs to be done See, there's a lot of things that you don't know about Chem 123. What his real name is. Where he comes from. Who is he? I've shown clips of who he is. And what he looks like. What is his real name? Where is he from? Notice that on all interviews, he always hides himself. A man that has to hide himself constantly 24 hours is a man that doesn't have the courage to back up his claims. If a man has to hide behind a computer 100% of the time that's speaking pure negativity. It's to the norm that he doesn't believe in half of the shit he says. 
don't expose him for the boy that he is. Tim123 is his alias name that he goes by on YouTube. He has many channels such as Kem, One on One. He went by another channel by the name of Diablo, but his real name is this. Javier Eric Romo, who lives in S Silver Springs, Maryland. Now, out of respect for the Andrew 26101 show, I will not be revealing the other members' addresses and locations. This is a scare tactics for Mr. Ken123. As many of us as Anonymous have exposed the truth, the links from Chavo 2121. Out of respect, I will not be exposing the other family members. Protora Romo. Romo is his brother. Jacqueline is his aunt. He also has a cousin by the name of Jacqueline. Michael and Rim. Zon Romo is his uncle. These are the three informations I have so far that I will be exposing and showing pictures of his family. I do not, in any shape or form, promote any type of violence towards his family whatsoever. I do not condone this actions whatsoever. But a man who is racist, a man who singularly handles his situations by hiding behind a computer, the 32-year-old male by the name of Chem123, real name Javier Eric Romo. Let's start with Javier Eric Romo. Um. <laughs> As I try to dig up as much information I can on Javier Eric Romo, I couldn't find any more pictures of him. It's like he's a ghost. He completely evaporated himself from mainstream media. Why would he do something like that? I tell you. Because he's afraid of exposure, but I do have information about his psychological mind frame, on who he is, on how his father, his father, yes, his father used to abuse him. He lives in this house, in his home with his parents, in the basement. He has slightly retardation and a mental disorder. This is truth. This is real facts. His company. This is the company's name. The landscaping company that he brags about on YouTube is not his company. The landscaping company belongs to his La Familia. He never owned a construction company. He claims that he did. He doesn't have any children either. He lied about that. The full working info, Rhonda Mortensen team was just promoting his business. His business info is right there inside the box. But he doesn't have a business. He lied. This is his family owned business that he so proclaimed that he owned. <laughs> Now, we're going to get into the slut of a whore of his sister. And this is the prime reason why he doesn't like Mr. BBC. This is Jacqueline Romo, his sister. 
you can tell. It's related. This thing is related to Javier. Um. Eric. <laughs> um. Otherwise known as Kev123. <laughs> you can see from his squinty little face, the pudgy cheeks, the eyebrows. Ooh. I would definitely give her this big BBC. Thick as hell. She look like she's got some big, huge tetas. I would like to put my big sausage right in between her warm teta buns and leche all over her. <laughs> okay, let me stop. I need to calm down. Well, let's get down to some serious business, shall we? Thus, I am a man of my word. I have made a commitment and I promise I will not expose any family member's address or phone numbers. According to the latest record, Jacqueline Lynn Marisa Robo is a 32-year-old. There's a lot of 32-year-old bitches in this family. Yes, I mean Ken. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean Javier as well. Born in December 1987. I would just show, just nut inside her and make a baby see. Baby. Jacqueline, possible relatives, including El Toro Martinez, El Toro Romo, Javier Romo, Michael. Romo, Michael Romo, Darren Martinez, Javier, Eric, Romo. Hopefully, this girl's at an age. But if she's not at age, please forgive me for the stuff I would say right now. This only applies to her being at the age of 21 and up. Because if she is 21 and up, I am definitely going to impregnate this girl. And give her a BBC baby. Girl, she fine. I didn't think Ken. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, Javier would have such a beautiful family. No disrespect, but I would smash all your cousins and your sister. And your aunt. But I see why. I see why. Your. Sister. Craze BBC. And maybe the rest of your family. Shout out to them. But that is it for now. It is 21. And some odd minutes into this video. I think I've said enough. Exposures. I will hand over the mic, and Andrew's show will continue to end this video, and he will speak on his behalf of Mr. Javier Eric. <laughs> Well, uh, well, I guess, uh, Mr. Anonymous, thank you for, you know, blessing me with that, you know, your thoughts and your opinions of what went down with Mr. Uh, Kim, uh, Javier, Eric Romo, whatever. Listen, it is what it is. What can I say? I'm not the type of person to just want to go ahead and expose people. I don't do shit like that. Now, just to let you guys know, this information was sent to me by an anonymous person and it's been going around everywhere okay now out of respect i will not show the person's email or their text or anything like that because they told me secretly not to and i'm just putting this out here now listen i'm gonna get down real serious i'm gonna just go speak my mind and my opinions of what i think of mr javier eric romo and what happened to him and i'm gonna end this conclusion of this video this interesting character has been harassing me for 10 years since 2010 
making anonymous videos attacking me on all sectors making these fake accounts which I've exposed them for I was brutally harassed on YouTube I've contacted YouTube to let them know about this person for the longest time and he continued to make his videos I did flag a few of his videos that was directed towards me in a form of disrespect and a form of attacking me I've also heard from people that he was trying to get personal information on me to try to put out there now did I put out his personal information out there no I didn't was it given to me yes it was now do I feel sorry for him no I don't because here's the thing I've said this a long time ago about racist people okay same thing with Chavo 2020 2121 okay he's never came at me uh, and said my name or did any type of crazy videos about me in the past but him talking about black people uh, it's related to me and my culture it does bother me to his max I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you all jokes aside you know I love the commentary and everything Mr. Anonymous had to say but listen all jokes aside it's gotten to the point where something had to give I always put out positive energy for the most part even when my videos were out there uh, Kem used defamation of character against me he got my channel shut down I don't feel sorry for this guy he called my lady a prostitute a slut he totally disrespected her and also uh, he tried to make a lot of uh, fake videos regarding to my family so hell no I don't feel sorry for him when you ruin people's lives and you go around trying to uh, disrespect people this is the backlash that you get it all started from Chavo 2121 he went viral I spoke to a friend he was upset at the fact that he went viral I told him shout out to radical Latino I told him listen whatever negative energy that you put out there eventually will come back to you I told him just let let it ride because he's not going to be able to handle the pressures of being viral to the point where Antonio lost his job to where this domino effect happened where people started to find out who these people really are okay now I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say I haven't experienced any type of racism from Hispanic people because I have quite a lot since I've moved down to over here in the south uh, I've expressed my feelings on what I think and I think it's just ridiculous that the Latin American community would go against blacks when I've constantly said that Hispanics are like our cousins they're black themselves they're no different from African American people you know what they're just black people who speak Spanish <laughs> but all jokes aside listen man shout out to uh, the people out there who have supported my channel even though it did get taken down my original channel shout out to you guys uh, shout out to the real Latinos the Hispanic people who are against racism and didn't stand for this um, and the ones that were completely blinded by Antonio otherwise known as Chavo 2121's message that all he was doing is producing a lot of negative negative energy and hate it was bigger than just a radical movement of Latino people that was on YouTube it was bigger than just Javier Eric Romo and his statements of what he said regarding to black men traveling overseas is bigger than them it's bigger than him attacking the SYM and SBM whatever the hell that group is uh, MGTOW Red Pills whatever O'Shea myself and everybody else it's bigger than that it's bigger than him just attacking other YouTube people what they were trying to promote was a race war between blacks and brown people I saw this for the longest time I mentioned this and I've got completely completely ignored by the Hispanic community 
back in my old channel and they were attacking me because they thought that I was attacking them. When Kem manipulated his own people into thinking that these black people are trying to take over, they, they make a lot of crimes, they do this, they do that, da, 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 all this other stuff. All I was doing is just trying to come to my defense of my culture and my people and just let them know, like, listen, blacks don't have any problems with Hispanic people. There are sector racial racist advocate groups that are f solely for white supremacy. Kem is a white supremacist. And so is Antonio Batista. And so is Rika Delphia and all these other goonies that's out there that's on YouTube. Now they're running scared. Because it's bigger than me. It's bigger than Radical. It's bigger than Oshie. It's bigger than, bigger than any of these platform or Marcus or any of these people. I told Kim a long time ago. A long time ago I spoke to him. He was attacking me since 2010. Until now. I told him a long time ago. You got to stop what you're doing. People warned him. People close to him warned him. You got to stop. You got to stop. You got to stop. Because you're going too far. But no, you had to jump on the Chavo 2121 Express. Then hackers came and they dox you. They won't go after other people because we don't attack people. I respect everyone who respects me. Never came to attack anybody. But I'm going to leave this note. And I'm going to say this. You do unto others as others would do unto you. You do to others as others will do to you. Now, there's a man running scared and is afraid that people are going to find out who he is. Now, listen, you can't attack me. This information was given to me and it was already out there. So my ass is covered. Everybody's seen this information everywhere. It was sent to everybody. I hope that this is a lesson learned. For people who bully people on social media and on the internet and who are racial advocates of people who are trying to start race cliques that listen, it doesn't work. We need to learn as people to get over the 1950s and the 40s where racism was high. We're in 2020 now. It's time to wake up, people. Leave the bullshit alone. Anyways, folks, I want to know what you guys think. Rate the video, leave your comments. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let's get this video viral, possibly. Let's get these thumbs up. Shout out to everybody out there promoting positivity, positive energy. And I want to say this now. And no disrespect to the family members. Okay. Beautiful family he has. No disrespect to that. But to Kim... I don't wish you any harm, and I hope nothing happens to you. But I'm going to leave it like this. I hope you change your perspective. Do I think this is the end? No. But I'm going to leave this note, and I forgot to mention. The reason for Kim's behaviors, okay? The reason why he attacked the BBCs and go after black men Con continuously in his videos and I'll tell you Kim has a mental disorder okay Kim has a mental disorder and pretty much he has autism he goes against anti-black he bigs up racist he has a criminal background history in his family. The same people that you can't stand, the BBCs. But yet still, your sister has a criminal record. You lied about not owning a job. Your family sees you as a punching bag. Your life is completely chaotic. And you were forced to work on the landscaping instead of going to school. Now, I'm not going to crack on you. But everything I'm saying is valid. And I just feel sorry for you. You have this complete fetish 
for making videos continuously, continuously attacking the black race. I'm doing this for my people. And I'm also doing it for the Hispanic community who represents the good. Because you cannot allow a person like Chem. A Chem is a virus that can completely spread throughout the universe and destroy and conquer. He is nothing more than a new age Hitler. The Mexican Hitler. Because that's basically what he promotes. Same thing with Chavo 2121. And the rest of those goonies that's out there on YouTube. I just hope this is just a learning lesson to these psychotic, crazy idiots. But I'll tell you what. Instead of just calling Kim names, I'm going to say this. Kim's source of therapy was YouTube. Just think about it. Nobody would listen to him. He has no friends except for Steve Rose. His family don't even like him. I can see why a man like that would go on YouTube and be on a rant. And put his solo issues on black people. I try to reach out to him. Many people try to reach out to him. People close to him try to reach out to him. People, I guess, that's on YouTube try to talk to this guy. And try to tell him, listen... You can't be blaming BBC all the time. Stop pointing your fingers at black men. You're going to get yourself in some shit that you can't get out of. And look what happened. They chased him off YouTube. Now he's changed his name to F Free AutoZone. What is it called? AutoZone? The only reason why he's doing it is because of the riots. He still don't learn his lesson. Kim is a complete racist. He's always been a racist and he will forever be one. Some people just can't change. He is a bacterial disease on YouTube that needed to go. But I didn't have to do it. People saw it for what it is. Shout out to you guys. My hands are clean. Anyways, guys, rate the video, leave your comments, let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. You guys stay safe. Enjoy the show. Hope you guys did, I should say. Hit that notification button if you haven't. See you in the next one.